thought it was the best we played defensively in the first half. Uh, for about 30 minutes, I thought we were really locked in. Our ball screen D has been bad, and it's led to breakdowns. And I thought our ball screen D was as good as it's been all year. I've said this before, so I don't want to be redundant, but it's all about point of attack. And we finally got our bigs to understand that we cannot allow the guard to get downhill, and it's going to cause unnecessary rotations. And we did a good job of that tonight. Yeah, I, I, I do think that we're beginning to understand the thin line between winning and misery. And uh, unfortunately for us, we, we've been on the wrong side of that too many times to this point in the season. And it really is a thin line, a play here, a play there. So uh, as we approach you know, the holiday break, which is much needed, we'll come back and now it's SEC. And when, when you get to league play, obviously the guys are going to be excited about the opportunities. No, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly not pleased with the fact that we lost three home games. Uh, I've, I've said from 2006 when I got this job, those are no-nos. You just can't do that because it's so difficult to win on the road. Uh, I'm encouraged with the way that our guys are starting to understand who we are. And we've got to be blue collar. And, and sometimes it's hard to accept that because blue collar is, is hard. It's not easy. But that's the way that we have to play. I think offensively, we're finding a rhythm. Uh, Dre is in Bree are making better decisions with the ball. When we share it, we have 18 assists off 29 made field goals today. We had 25 assists off 28 made field goals. I think coming into the game, we were in the top 20, top 15 in the country in efficiency as it relates to assist to turnover. So those are good things. Uh, there's still a number of areas as it relates to us finishing at the basket, us making free throws, us completing plays. Those are things that we're going to have to do in order to win SEC games. Was, you know, I was pleased to see him make shots. I thought uh, early his teammates did a good job of finding him where he was catching and shooting, not trying to do too much off the dribble. His percentages skew dr dramatically when he shoots it off the catch or he shoots it off the bounce. And tonight he makes nine big ones. He hits uh, six threes. Uh, it was good to see TD you know, lead us offensively like we're going to need him moving forward. Obviously, yeah, obviously. And, you know, he, he's just got to get to his spot. Good offensive players get to their spot. And he's got to get to his spot. And, you know, he's really good in the open floor. He made some plays tonight. Uh, he's got to get more comfortable. He, you know, a lot of times he gets into counters. Now, you got to understand Bradley coming in was a top 50 adjusted defense in the country. They do a good job of pack lining. And so we, we had to take what they gave us, which was the extra pass and perimeter shots. I thought, you know, Bruce continues to give us good minutes at the rim with his ability to score. Uh, and the guys have been successful playing off that. I just think he needs experience. You know, he needs experience, and I want him to play big. And I think he's playing bigger. I think he had three blocks in the last game. He had two tonight. And we need him to be a presence at the rim. And, and then offensively, we can't put him in positions where uh, he's uncomfortable, and that means he, him having to dribble. We've got to give it to him where he can finish, catch and dunk, catch, hook. Uh, and he's just got to get more and more comfortable as he plays more games. Hey, Merry Christmas.